everyone so today i am going to a training show i've booked in to take mac for the 90 centimeters and the one meter like i said it's just a training show so no show gear it's pretty much just to clear around so we're just going to jump around i don't know how it's going to go hi ariel ariel's here not you today mac is in the stable can't see him he's hiding in the dark but yeah that's what we're doing today like i said i'm doing the 90 and the one meter a little bit nervous uh kind of impulsively booked that i haven't actually really jumped in that height yet oh well <laughs> we'll see how it goes looks like he's rolled that's good i have to give you a brush if anyone's wondering i have to shut the stable grate because he can be mean to other horses when they come past so it's just better for everyone if he's shut in but he's as you can see he's perfectly relaxed he doesn't mind he's used to it um, but he can be a bit of a bully when the horses come through here so <laughs> i shut him in but he's looking relaxed and chilled he was a bit wild yesterday um but yeah so let's go let's go Hello everyone, this is voiceover time. Basically, this is the 90 centimeters. Uh, we didn't have the best warm up. I don't, I know it didn't look that bad, but he, I just wasn't really seeing strides on him. Uh, I have only ridden him a few times, so I'm still getting used to him. And I was kind of expecting, he was just felt very different when I took him uh, to an arena hire. He was way more forward in the warm up. He was almost behind my leg. It was very, very hot. And um, he had, had an interesting day yesterday where he jumped out the pen and galloped on the field. So he might have been feeling a bit tired. But um, you'll have to excuse some riding here. I was just, I was kind of like, I wouldn't say nervous, but I was just riding a little bit defensively. Um, he actually, he was really good. As you can see, we got a little bit wonky down that line. Lily, get your act together. This next part is quite amusing. Please don't hate on me for this. Uh, I just like saw a bad stride and he just went, shut up, I'll sort it out. And I was like, okay. So got a bit left behind there but that's fine uh don't really know each other yet got it back together for this little double here he jumped through very very nicely and yeah it was like a quite a short course it was only 10 fences when normally in bs there's like 12 or 13 um that was just because oh yeah we got a long stride here as well we uh that was just because it was a clear round as opposed to an affiliated show and then and uh, got a bit deep into the last but he was really good clear round he sorted me out i rode badly but he was great Mac went here in the 90. Good boy. I got left behind quite a few times, but that's okay. It's okay because we're just getting used to each other. Don't worry, you don't need to go to spec savers. This round is actually entirely out of focus, thanks to my dad. Um, if you watched my last video, you know he videoed the floor, so it's definitely a step up from that, but um, still not quite there yet. So unfortunately, our one meter round was out of focus, uh, but that's okay because I got a really awful stride to the first fence. Wee! Luckily, Max really honest. I just buried him into the first fence and it was just terrible. But I got it together. To be fair, I was pretty happy with this round. Um, he jumped really, really well. He jumped much better. 
over the slightly bigger fences. This still isn't that big for him as he used to jump 120s. He is in a snaffle, but you'll see me quite a lot pulling him back, quite a lot. He's actually fairly strong. Uh, not terribly, I'm going to keep him in the snaffle for now, but he does kind of pull me a bit. As you can see, um, I'm half halting quite a bit. Uh, I could definitely do that a lot more quietly, but uh, bad riding on my part. Lol. Uh, anyway, he's jumping so nicely. He literally flew over everything. This fence, we got a we got an okay stride, but he just kind of moved. And then we're about to trot through that related distance, but we made it. Um, he's just really, really honest and sweet and fun. And I just need to get used to him and ride him how he deserves to be ridden. Because right now I'm riding like a sack of potatoes. Just gave Mr. Mac a little sponge off. Superman. Oh, yes. <laughs> We're home. <laughs> We're home now. <laughs> Good boy. Hello everyone, so we are home now. I am so, so happy with Matt. We had a really good round in the 90. Um, it was very small for him, as you can see, he wasn't really trying over the fences. He is used to competing a lot bigger, but I obviously needed to start small because I don't know him very well. But we went clear, really happy. And then the one meter obviously also went clear, he jumped so much better. I did mess up the stride to the first fence, but that's okay, still getting used to him. But I'm honestly so proud of him and how honest he was and he looked after me so well. I honestly didn't ride that great. Not my best riding. But I'll use the excuse that it's only my fourth time riding him. <laughs> so I feel like we can let me let me up for that one. But that is the first part of this vlog over and the next part will be me competing Ariel this Saturday. Um yeah, see you then. Hello everyone, so today is day two of the vlog. I'm taking aerial show jumping at Felbridge, back to Felbridge again, this time for a BS show. Looking forward to it. Hopefully there's not gonna be a storm today, so we don't have to get drenched. So it's gonna be, well, it's gonna be a better day. So looking forward to that. Ariel was 10 out of 10, much better to put her boots on today. I haven't looked at yet, but yeah, the first week. Obviously, it was her first week at this yard, so she was a bit unsettled still, but you were a bit of a nightmare to get your boots on. Very good today. Getting a lot better with the ground manners, yes. Hey guys, I am back doing a voiceover for Ariel's round. This was the 85 centimeters, and bear in mind, this is our second show together, and our first show wasn't exactly the best experience. You should watch my last video to see us try and jump around in a little storm. But yeah, she jumped over the the, the first fence really nicely and we came around to the second fence she just got a little bit sticky she was a bit behind my leg the stride was okay but as you can see she hesitated a bit and I had to quite push her down that related distance and as you can see she hasn't quite got her changes so she falls out of her canter occasionally and goes a bit disunited and she was just a little bit wobbly in general and like I said in this class she was quite behind my leg so I was having to work fairly hard just to keep her moving it's kind of where she was being a little bit lucky, but she's also just a little bit on the lazy side. And, you know, I was running a little defensively because I really wanted her to get round. But they're small fences. She's a very capable mare and the height is absolutely nothing to her. It's just gaining her that ring experience with everything going on and focusing on all different types of fences. But she started flowing a lot more towards the end and she actually 
<laughs> was attempting some changes. She wasn't quite making them. As you can see, she went disunited. But uh, it's good that the idea is there. She just needs to get strong stronger to execute them properly. But uh, she is learning, and I think she will get her changes soon. But uh, this was a lovely clear round. This is the last two fences here, and she went clear. I was so, so proud of her, as she really was just so much better than last week. She backed off a couple of fences, but hardly anything at all, and it was a really great confidence round for her, and an amazing clear, so I was really happy with her. Now this was our British novice round. This is 90 to 95 centimetres, I believe, with possibly a fence or two at a metre, though don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, she jumped so much better in this class. She was way more forward, way off my leg. As you saw, I only popped her over a couple of fences to warm up because it was quite a warm day and I didn't want her getting too tired. But she was flowing so much better, actually taking me into the fences in this round. I just felt really, really confident and happy. And again, she's trying to do her changes. She's doing a good effort. And uh, yeah, you kind of can't really see around the edge here, but she did get a little bit looky at this fence as it was all the way around the back. She had a little look, but she still jumped it. She's a very honest, lovely girl. She pinged over that one. And down this related distance here, we got a little bit long coming in and I just didn't quite sit her up enough. So we got a little bit deep into this part here, but she's very careful. And this is where the jump off starts. And I got a little bit ambitious here and uh, I kind of messed it up. So as you see, I asked her to take off here and she goes, woo, deep stride. And we had that pole down, which was so unfortunate. That was 100% my fault. I just rode it badly and got a little bit excited for doing a jump off. But the rest of the course, she jumped beautifully. She really didn't deserve that pole down. She really deserved that clear. And that was completely my fault. But she jumped so well. I was so, so happy. We're coming down to the last two fences now. And she just did this line so well. And I'm just really, really happy. It was a huge improvement between the two rounds. And she was just a super mare all day. So it was a great show, really. She was just amazing. So we are home from the show, I had such a good time with Ariel, definitely an improvement from last week but in her defence there wasn't a raging storm today so she jumped amazingly. She was so good, she was a little bit behind my leg in the first class, 85cm but she did jump clear, a bit slow so no placings but as you guys saw I was just going for the clear round. And then in the 90 she was jumping amazing. She was jumping so much more forward. She didn't look at anything. She definitely jumps a lot better over bigger fences. But as you saw at that red double, I kind of completely screwed up the stride. Um, it was the first fence in the jump off and I got a little bit ambitious and um, a little bit excited that we were doing a jump off. And I kind of asked, and I kind of asked her to take off from what I like to call an inky stride. An inky stride, there he is. <laughs> um, which is basically a stride that no other horse will take because it is miles away from the fence, but it's an inky stride because inky takes them. I got a little bit excited for being in a jump off for the first time in a while and I asked for an inky stride and Ariel went, sorry? <laughs> sorry what? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, so as you saw, she chipped in. Luckily she was very honest. I. You know, she was very honest, very good of her. She chipped in, but she did have the fence down perfectly reasonably because I did not ride it very well. But apart from that, clear other than that, and she was just amazing. And I'm just so happy with her. It was an amazing show. So that is it for today's video. We had the training show with Mac and we had the BS show with Ariel. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I actually remember my little camera this time. Woo! And there was no torrential rain, so I think it's been a success all round. And I'm really, really happy with how the day went. Feeling good. A little reminder that I don't own either horses. I just have the rides on them, which I'm very, very grateful to their wonderful owners for because I'm having a great time with them. And I will see you guys in the next video for probably another competition vlog because that is all I'm doing at the moment. But that's okay. You guys like them, so it's fine. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Crazy over you.